Brothers and sisters in Christ, the hearts of the Caribbean people are broken and wounded as we learn of the invasion of the vulnerable sovereign state of the Ukrainian People's Republic by the Russian Federation. The subsequent loss of innocent lives and the severe suffering of its people. In addition, the invasion has caused a refugee crisis and caused the painful breakup of families, a nation and communities. Throughout the Caribbean region, public commentators, religious leaders, governments and civil society have been expressing solidarity with the Ukrainians, condemning the violent and unlawful actions of the Russians and calling for an end to such brutality. We are also concerned about the dire and uncertain fate of Caribbean students living in Ukraine, the economic impact of rising oil prices on our Caribbean nations, and the failure of regular diplomatic efforts to resolve international issues. Like the coronavirus pandemic, this crisis has international implications as it causes rising inflation and increasing oil prices. This now places greater financial and psychological burdens on our people. As president of the Antilles Episcopal Conference, I support the call of Pope Francis, who declared Wednesday, March 2nd, 2022, Ash Wednesday, as a day of fasting for peace. Pope Francis reminds us that Jesus taught us that the diabolical senselessness of violence is answered with God's weapon, prayer and fasting. On this synodal journey, I invite the people of God, the laity, the clergy and religious in all the dioceses of the AEC to gather virtually and or physically in parishes, in homes, religious communities, chapels on Ash Wednesday to pray for global and regional peace and specifically for peace in Ukraine. May the Son of Justice and Peace rise in our hearts and actions and provide the light of hope. May Mary, the Queen of Peace, intercede on our behalf. Your sincerely in Christ, Most Reverend Gabriel Malzer, President of the Antilles Episcopal Conference.